Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So, have you had any uh, clothesline tacos? <laughs> clothesline tacos? Recently. Uh, I mean, I, I think I've ever. If, if you could ever start a restaurant and you knew it would be successful, like you're not worried about appeasing, you know, having to make sure it succeeds, but let's say it would. It, you knew it would be successful, but you could make it more successful. Like, what kind of restaurant would you start? So, you know, the office building I bought, I I could with I like with I would say ninety eight percent certainty could open a restaurant there and guarantee it would be successful. What kind of restaurant? Because would it be? I, it would be just home cooking because I know the clientele. Like I know the old people that would eat there and the people that live locally. So like I know for a fact I could open just a you know, home cook mill style restaurant there. And it would, as long as like I could, you know, maintain getting the food and like having good service, the food would be fine and the people would love it and it would be successful. I could guarantee it. Is that the ideal restaurant that you'd want to run as a home cooking? I mean, I think I would want, I I mean, if, if I could have any restaurant in the world, I would want, I would want an, upscale home cooking style restaurant so like i wouldn't want like italian or anything anything like that um but i'd want it to be i mean i guess european would be the best way to describe what i'm what i'm talking about here like fish and chips and no air conditioning is what you said. <laughs> no and no ice and no um, and no <laughs> ice i see oh and by the way uh, i just also remember that crazy cat lady's awesome as well <laughs> uh, but like a place that you know serves fancied up home cooked meals basically if that makes sense no no i mean i get like upscale fine dining essentially like you know but i wouldn't want it to feel pretentious i wouldn't want you to feel like you needed to dress up to be there or anything like that you know what i mean you ever gone to a restaurant where you had to dress up no, my girlfriend keeps begging me to go to these things, and I really don't care for that at all. I want to, like, my money spends the same no matter what clothes I have on, and so, like, I think that that's basically bullshit. Yeah, I went to this place that was, you had to have a jacket, uh, and I don't mean, like, a winter jacket, you know, I mean. You know, <laughs> right, it's, it's, we keep it cold in here. <laughs> walk in, it's just like a winter coat, and be like, isn't this what you meant? Like, I'm, I'm within dress code. <sighs> and, uh... I assumed that the jacket was just like they expected people to be in suits and stuff there, but I also assumed that people who go to restaurants in suits take the jacket off when they're sitting at the table getting ready to eat. Right. That's a huge fucking no no, apparently. I took it off and I instantly had a guy like, Sir, you need to put your jacket back on. And I was like, What? Yeah. You know, actually, I took us to an oyster place one time and they gave us all jackets. <laughs> we all had to wear these jackets. Um, Nervous was with us, I remember. Did never did we, did they end, I mean, this is gonna sound terrible, but they, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm about to ask. Yeah, yeah, no, they had big jackets. Okay. <laughs> Because that, that's the thing that a place that supplies you with something, I always get concerned. Like, what do you do when you get that person that you didn't ever think that, the you know, not that he's this big or anything, but the, you know, 535 pound dude is going to walk in the door, you know? Right. Like, we went to um, the Dogfish Head Brewery in Delaware, and to go into their, uh, the brewery area, you have to wear... Um, closed toed shoes you couldn't wear like sandals but it was like a summer there before. place and so they have a place where you could they they have shoes for everybody like the you know the rent quote unquote yeah. rental shoes but they're free but i guarantee you're gonna get like lebron james showing up in there one day and uh, do you really keep pair like 32 size shoe i don't know what size <laughs> shoe is, but sitting around uh, for somebody like him or is he just sol like he's not allowed to yeah i feel like that in in those cases they're just like well yeah sorry buddy come back <laughs> so, another time right. just wrap your feet in the saran wrap and, <laughs> <laughs> and we will see what to do yeah but i was it's uh, so uncomfortable to sit down and eat in a suit coat like when you go to a wedding and stuff and people wear suits nobody sits down and eats in their like suit coats or yeah. their tuxedo coats and take it off that's like standard yeah, that is that is very strange. I don't understand the need. I don't understand the need for like what does I don't. I mean, I I, I feel the same way about going to church too. Like, I don't I don't think that you should be required to dress up to go to church. Oh, I thought you were just meant about the act of going to church. Like, I feel it's not not, not necessary to the process. <laughs> uh. 
No, I mean, I completely agree with that. It's kind of weird that to go get dressed up in order to go worship whatever entity that you believe in. Like, is, is God going to sit there and be like, ooh, you know, it, it, let's say God is real for a minute. Like, ooh, you didn't wear, uh, didn't wear a suit to worship me. I don't know if I'm going to let you into the afterlife and... Uh, well, I mean, it goes it goes against everything that God taught, basically, or Jesus, whatever. Um, you know, so I don't know. That's that's the thing that always bothered me. I guess that is kind of. I never even thought about it from that perspective. But yeah, I guess it really does go against the the teachings. Okay, this is gonna hurt me to death. Yep, it literally did. Where, <laughs> where are you at? Down down there in hell. Are you close to where I was, or were you, did you go down the ravine? No, I didn't go down the ravine. All right, so you must be... Oh, I see. I, I see a bunch of XP. I'm assuming that's your mm -hmm. stuff. Is there a lot of skeletons? Because I only see one, and he's dead now. I killed most of them. And really, if I had killed the one that was fighting the zombie, instead of watching him fight the zombie, I probably wouldn't have died. I was too busy watching the show. Yeah, I mean, I have a hard enough time wearing, like, dress clothes when I'm at work. I haven't worn a tie in God knows how long to my job. And I'm I remember you said you stopped wearing them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a director, and most directors are. It's I, I, I look so funny because I always laugh at myself in meetings because everybody else is in suits and stuff, and I'm, like, sleeves rolled up just sitting there. And nobody's ever said a word or even seemed to question. Like, so it doesn't seem like my, my higher-ups are that keen on suits and stuff either. I think it's more of a as long as you look professional. And are you going to kill these things, Jeff? I killed them all already, didn't I? No. Maybe that wasn't where you died then. Oh, gosh, shit. A shit ton more like... What happened? What happened? You looks like you're wearing a Nevers outfit. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> I've been wearing a suit for a while now. You <laughs> like, we're talking about this suit stuff, and look at you. <laughs> you're gaming in suits. So try to make you look bad. <laughs> yeah, Hold on. There's a, there's a creeper right there. There's at the last one. Let me come. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, no, I had to be a lawyer, and then I don't have my old skin anymore, so I'm just a lawyer uh, forever one, now. There's a guy coming over the horizon at you. So I can't seem to get him. I hear zombies. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad that none of my higher-ups seem to care, like, because it would be... I would be really upset if they made me start wearing, like... Yeah. I see your stuff all the time. <laughs> a director. Yeah, yeah, he makes movies. Yep. I make movies. I direct him. <laughs> He's good friends with Steven. <laughs> well, it is kind of the funniest thing is actually in my profession, like the two things that you're allowed to wear are business casual or scrubs. And Yeah, it's like so polar opposites. Oh god, yeah, scrubs are the most I hated wearing scrubs as a nurse because I personally think scrubs are some of the sloppiest things that you can potentially wear. Um, it looks very unprofessional. The only reason it looks quote unquote professional is because people associate scrubs with medical field. It's not because they like are like, ooh, that person looks smart, you know. It's just that they associate it with the medical field. <laughs> he has glasses. And he has glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and puts his puts his hair in a uh, in a style of some type. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, well made sentence. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I've been working on it for a while. Make sure it came across just right. Um, <laughs> but even as a nurse, I hated wearing scrubs. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's because the, you know, the material that it's made of. Fuck, I've owned many, many, many pairs of scrubs in my life. Trust me, most of these companies aren't making any, any different material than cotton. <laughs> and, like, it's the same shit that you can buy any other set of clothes in. And people just think it's a different material that's because that's what they want to believe it's really not yeah some of that stuff in for the ors is like the things that have to be sterile and they have to be washed in a special way but you don't even get to take those scrubs home they'll stay at the hospital oh, really? yeah and they go to some special like cleaning company who cleans them in a specific way that they're meant to be used in like ors and stuff so it's one of those ones you get to work hmm. you put on the scrubs from the machine you take them off and change clothes before you leave and drop them off in the machine to go back out and get uh, get washed again but all the other areas that don't require specifically uh you know specific sterile scrubs and stuff like especially the emergency department like 
And what, and what do you think when I'm wearing scrubs? Do you think that blood comes out of my clothes any easier than it comes out of yours? No, and it's sad because I had a lot more blood on me on any regular basis than, you know, an average person does. So your scrubs end up having blood stains on them that don't come out. Hmm. Apparently he doesn't have the coal going into any kind of sorting. Where's it going to? It goes into the random chest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's up here grabbing, uh... And the ores as well. Ores don't go anywhere. They just go into the random stuff. Does he just have? I'm really surprised he didn't have the ores sorted. Did he just have it sort the like cobble and stuff? Looks like it. Yeah, just the the most common blocks that we're getting. Because hmm. I definitely have put a lot of coal and iron specifically in. Uh... Yeah, I mean the iron's going in there. It's not going anywhere. Man, it's actually. Looking like a decent amount of progress being made now. Yeah, we're getting there. Get to the top of this thing. Could you ever go back to a place where you had to wear like a shirt and tie every day? If they paid me very, very well. <laughs> but I've never worked anywhere that I had to wear a tie. It's just annoying to wear every day. My like, uh, the I don't CEO mind this, this, of oh, good. I was gonna say the CEO of uh, the place where I was assistant administrator at hated what I wore. I wore like Jinko jeans still back then, <laughs> and he would complain about it all the time. And I'd be like, well, if you know, if you can find someone as smart as me to replace me that wears the kind of clothes that uh, you want, then jump at it. He hated it. <laughs> I mean, I personally don't mind. I don't mind wearing like business casual and. Uh... And like you know, button up shirts and pants, like it's it's fine. I'm I'm used to it, and it's like just the professional life. I would rather just wear like jeans and a, and a polo or a t-shirt or something like that. But you know, gotta pick pick your battles. And I I also have to make sure I get stuff. Um, I will not buy dry clean only clothes. Yeah, no, like yeah, that's what I'm when I'm buying my daughter's clothes too. Like I won't buy things that have to like. If they can't all go in the washing machine, I mean, I'll sort it by color. But if it needs like a gentle cycle or some bullshit like that, nah, let's just not I buy think, those clothes. I think those tags are completely misleading. I everything that I have that's wa machine wash cold versus machine wash warm versus gentle cycle, it all goes in together, and I've never had an issue. <laughs> Uh, no, the only thing you have to do is if you buy something new, you have to like kind of wash it by itself once because it sometimes like dyes leak out of it, um, and then after that, it goes in with everything else. I was gonna ask you something. What was it? It was about clothes, ties. Oh yeah, it was about clothes. Auto Autoerotic um, asphyxiation. <laughs> do you associate all these things together? So when you get a home <clears throat> from work, when I get do a you home immediately from work, like they buy me a home. When you get home from work, do you immediately change into something comfortable? Like, do you put, like, sweatpants on or whatever? Nope. Not anymore. I used to. But now, like, the, I make sure I buy pants that are comfortable enough anyway. Like, I'm still wearing my my work pants right now. I'm still actually wearing my shoes, but that's because uh, my shoes are pretty comfortable. Actually, my it's my fire department issued shoes are terrible for the fire department, but they are perfect as work dress shoes. It's kind of weird. But they're also huh. meant to be comfortable. Because you know, you're supposed to be in them doing work all day, so they're actually really comfortable. But I do take off my uh, my shirt pretty immediately, so I just go down to an undershirt. <laughs> you're just shirtless right now. Shirt, I'm just shirtless. No, I, uh, I always wear an undershirt, so I unbutton and take my shirt off as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, okay. And uh, it's sitting. There. And then if I go out again, I'll throw the shirt back on to, if I have to go out anywhere. Right. But, uh, but no, I wear the pants pretty much the whole night. The only time I change is if I'm going home and I'm going to work on something that's like potentially gonna get dirty i will change out of this stuff into like uh, you know jeans or whatever if i'm gonna go you know build a box for my you know packages to get placed in which you know, mm -hmm. I built. have you put that on the porch i did put it on the porch we have you got any muscle since then, then. Uh, so, no idea. did you put a christmas tree on top of it no not yet <laughs> <laughs> not yet i gotta I gotta build the christmas tree now find out what's gonna, uh, what's gonna happen uh, yeah, um, when, I, when I worked at when I worked at McDonald's, I did. I not only changed. I mean, I, I bet you came home and took a shower took a immediately, shower right? Every time when I was working the night shift, um, sometimes I was too tired to actually take a full shower. But I would 
literally scrubbed the shit out of my face for like you know five minutes yeah. before I would uh, go lay down. Um, God. Yeah, it was. Yeah, when I worked at Shoney's, dude, I was immediately come home and stop smelling like grease, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I was always bad when I worked at Shoney's about changing my gloves. I'd put on a pair of gloves at the start of the night, and I'd just wear those bitches all night long. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that it is. is. Terrible. It's absolutely it's, terrible. It's so funny because I took, like, all. I think when I started at McDonald's, I was 16 years old. I'd done pizza and stuff before, so I was in the food industry, but I didn't really like. <laughs> the way you said that is like some sexual thing. I've done pizza stuff before. <laughs> I've, done, I've done pizza stuff in the past, you know? <laughs> I would know if you pay a little extra, I get some pizza stuff going, some pizza. Uh, the. But then I took a serve safe class when I was a manager, and I don't know why a lot of that stuff stuck with me. That I I'm very all about like hygiene and stuff when it comes to to making food for other people. Um, mm -hmm. Not for myself per se. I don't really give a shit when I'm making it for myself. I should fall on yeah. the floor, whatever, pick it back up, throw it in, like throw it in the sandwich again. Like I really don't care. But it's very strange. I'm making for other people. I'm very particular. I'm very particular about cooking temperatures for things I'm serving to other people too. Um, like you know, chicken and all this stuff. It's a got to right. be thermometer. Well, you don't want to ever get to be the guy that gets everyone sick or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess part of it's because I've learned well, how bad it can be that you if you give give somebody like salmonella or whatnot you know it's uh yeah probably a terrible thing man it's i can see the back like so i'm the kind of person that like always like the moment i am at my house i am now wearing uh comfortable pants I dated a girl for a while who immediately uh, would wear sweatpants when she got home. That's why I thought it was funny when you said sweatpants because I don't know many people who wear sweatpants on a regular basis. Um, but immediately it was she got she was a nurse and when she got home, it was out of the scrubs into sweatpants, which is kind of funny because a lot of people like scrubs anyway because they're for the most part comfortable. But you obviously don't want to wear you know what you nah, wear all nah. day like. Right. To continue wearing it. Uh, so when when I was dating her, like we would lounge around her house in sweatpants all the time. And uh, as much as it was comfortable, I don't know. I just don't feel I don't feel secure in sweatpants for like. You don't feel secure. Like what? What are you gonna do? You get hurt. Well, I mean, no, it's not that I I feel hurt. It's a, but it's for the same reason I dislike scrubs and why I like wearing pants. I need some like something. I don't know, with more protection in the front? I don't know, you're wearing sweatpants, and granted, if it's at home, it's different, but when it was at work in scrubs, like, think about it like this, like, if you, you, as a guy, you've had to get a spontaneous erection out of nowhere. Sure. How do you deal with but, that when you're at work and it's scrub pants that it's going to very obviously be showing through? Yeah, how do you do it? You, you, you should know. So, you know what, though? I've never, I don't, I've only got that when I'm sitting in a weird way. Well, like it's always like a blood flow like thing or something. Sitting in a weird way. I've never yeah, just like had at a... school, like where you're sitting. I've never been stand. I've never got a random erection while standing. Really? Oh, I definitely yeah. have. Uh, but I will tell you, it turns out that I never have at uh, work when I was a nurse um, because it's not a very arousing job. <laughs> it turns out. But it was one of my actual very big worries when I was. I remember you saying that you're always worried that you have like some patient and like just get a hard on. Yeah, like man, can you imagine if you actually had a hot chick that you had to start doing assessments or something on? But no, it that's always been my fear when I'm getting a massage. I'm terrified of getting an erection. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I've only had a professional massage once in my life, and the only person, the only available massage therapist was a male, so I didn't have to deal with. Well, what if you got an erection? That's even worse. That would have been even worse, but I guess I didn't. Cause I didn't even think about it at that point. I was kind of relieved in a way. Like, oh, thank God, it's a dude. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's always it's one of those fantasy things. Like, what if it is a hot chick doing it? And I get the erection, and she's like, ah, you know. Instead of being like, yeah, she's like, ah. <laughs> uh, I do? think that would be awful. <laughs> um, I mean, it depends. Maybe I, I had know. permission beforehand, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hmm. uh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm just only when you're yeah. sitting in weird positions. Yeah, no, I've never I've ever heard. I thought that's how it was for everybody. 
No. Like in school, like I think it's like a blood I, circulation. So or something I will, like that. I will admit it happened in school. Maybe that's because that's where you remember spending most of your time. I remember when I was younger working at McDonald's and randomly in the middle of like for no reason. Like it's not because like hot chicks like walked in or anything like that, but I'd randomly be like, Holy shit, I got an erection. I gotta like That has never happened to me, away. I swear. In school it was always annoying because you were trying to sit there and be like you'd be like, Oh, class is ending in like four minutes. I got four minutes for this thing to go away before I have to like find a way to walk out of here in a very strange See, way. See for me in school bathroom. even I would just fix my pants and fix whatever the circulation problem was, and then my dick wouldn't be hard no more. Circul- I don't think it's a circulation problem. That's not what I do. Erections. That's what I'm trying to say. Like the only times it's ever happened erections. to me. Do what? Circulation problems don't cause erections. Well, it's, it's, it's like it's a weird. Like, I mean, not like not, it's not like your circulation's cut off. There's something weird. There's something in a weird spot with your pants, you're, you're, and you're, that's what's causing it. Corpus, but it's not like a pleasurable thing. Your corpus thing. is taking on the excess blood from the excess circulation and filling all the gaps and making it like bloop. Which is caused by like something being in a weird spot that's causing there to be blood going there when it shouldn't be. It's not that it shouldn't be. Why shouldn't it be? It's like natural. It's not though. An erection? Like whenever it's time for my dick to be hard. I mean, it's ready. But whenever it's not time, it doesn't do anything. It just sits down there and I'll let it know when I'm ready. Oh, but it th- it might think it's time. You know, it's one of those <sighs> things where it's like uh, they, they say if I don't like, have this problem. If you're if you're an average like I can't say not sexuality, but uh, like sexual drive or whatever. And you go without sex for like a month or two or something like that. You will, as an adult, have like a wet dream because your body will. Expel well, yeah, it's point. gonna gonna like, get rid of the the, the sperm. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's you can't say it's not natural because just because it's not the, just because the lady ain't there. That's still mean... your mind doing the thing though. The dick's not on its own here. You saying that during the day your mind's never wandered while you were standing up to have that uh, no. happen? No, I'm in control of my mind. I've never I've I've <laughs> never given myself an erection. My you don't control my mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I swear, I'm trying I've to never see what my this. mind says about this. With uh, uh, I'm trying to. I'm really <laughs> What's your memory say? Uh, um, uh. Uh, my mind doesn't have any good information I can use directly in in the last statement <laughs> right right now. My memory is calling bullshit. And how the fuck would you know what's happened to my? <laughs> I'm I'm glad your memory's call, calling what my memory. Well, only one be person right is, now. but he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Only one person. You're only one man, goon. You have you have a mind and you have control of your own mind. You made that very clear, <laughs> and your mind is telling you that it's bullshit. Thank yeah, you, this one person mind. in my chat is Thank full you. of shit. You don't know what he's talking about at all. No shit. <laughs> Maybe it's old age. We're talking about. Whenever we were youngins. Um, I mean, does it does it happen more now that you're older? That would be interesting. Oh God, no. baby, baby, no. You're wrong. I'm not wrong about what's happened in my pants over time. I know what's happened. I've been there the whole time. I think Gooch might be having a mental breakdown as he's arguing with himself. <laughs> I thought this was you. Oh, this is cold. Good Roger. lord. The, my mind is telling me that the true wow wow is really 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 amazing because the true wow wow really likes gifting people things. Thank well, you, Cone, wow, what's your name? Wow. Cone is taking me somewhere. I'm being abducted. Wait, you've been abducted? He told me to come down here, and then he started running away, and I'm just following him. Wait, so <laughs> he's abducting you because you follow him? Well, I mean, I guess I'm I'm allowing myself to be abducted. abducted. <laughs> Ad- <laughs> I've seen your bullshit cone. Oh, is there more signs now? There's another sign. Fixed. To please the Grammar Preservation Society. I have a, an EKG going on oh, in my mind Oh, right yeah, now. he did spell it wrong. It's a very good EKG. <laughs> I'm glad you learned how to spell cone. I'm more proud of you. Wait, is now that, that you're a Twitch partner. You? How to spell Yeah, he fixed the sign. Well, because I had, I had made fun of it being spelled wrong the first time. I read it. Uh, no, thank well, you so much, the true wow wow, uh, and welcome um, to the the five people that are the, the end, of your, <laughs> end of your generosity. Uh, well, with that, let's just let's just go away now. 
<laughs> like I'm going straight up said you cannot go back to your your your, 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 your erection. <laughs> your previously programmed direction. <laughs> so he's playing while watching. I mean, while while we're thinking. Yeah, thinking. he's listening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Looks like Go get your own erections. You're anywhere close, but <laughs> standing erections, I guess. Anyways, bye. See ya. Zombie.